going. I'm sorry, there's no books today. No books. Just, we're going. Just tall girls. Okay. All right. So we're talking about tall girl, right? Movie of the year. Uh, I'm Chandler. I'm Mandy. Uh, we're gonna review, be reviewing the movie Tall Girl, which we just sat through. Oh, we deserve a trophy and uh, the Medal of Honor. <laughs> okay, maybe I've seen more terrible movies than you have. No, but... that was that was it wasn't just terrible. It like was... we'll get to it because I think that movie was. I mean, it's trying to have this like not bullying or like believe in yourself message. But it also has the worst male character I've ever okay. seen. It is one of the Netflix original movies. I got my notes on my phone. I'm Just, sorry. You're not sorry. The main character is played by a vocalist, model, dancer, now actress, Ava Michelle. She is 6'1". Uh, she's a decent actor and it's hot. And she which can, this movie she tries to make sing. you not believe. Um, so the movie opens, it's in the trailer, it opens with... Also, spoilers. Just gonna put that right there at the top. Um, the movie opens with her reading a book in a library and there's a, an attractive boy sitting across from her and they're reading the same book and he says this, I wrote this down because this hurt me so much. She was like, oh, it's about alienation and he goes, an alienation? What chapter is that? And it was like, oh, stop. The writing in this movie is just, just A plus for, I just can't. Anyway, so he's flirting with her and then he gets up and he comes over to her. She's sitting at this little desk and he's like, hey, maybe do you want to? And then she stands up. And for some reason, the camera does this optical illusion to make her seem like she's 10 feet tall. And then he realizes that she's tall. And he goes, oh, my God, and then leaves. She is 6'1". I am 6 foot to 6'1". It's hot. Yeah, and not that tall. They make her seem like she's 8 feet the whole movie, even though she's 6'1". Okay, the optical illusions I noticed didn't happen for the rest of the movie. But, and the tall jokes only lasted maybe the first, like, 15 minutes. No, they kept doing tall jokes. No, it was, like, uh, the classic, like, how's the weather up there, blah, blah, blah. They did the door thing, like, five times. <sighs> she hit her head on the door, like, three times. Okay, so, the plot. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's, she's really insecure. She has this really tiny, cute best friend, um, whose name I can't recall, but she's easily the best part of the movie. Uh, Frida. Frida's the name. She, She's really cute. She's really perfect, and I love her. I hated the first scene with her. I went. She comes I, in I went. Dancing. I hate this movie already. She right. She came in dancing. It's cute. It's I not do that cute. all the time. I think it's adorable. Anyway, it, it was very much bully material. I'm surprised she <laughs> anyway. wasn't bullied. She has. She has another best friend named. I only remember him as Dunkers. Dunkelman. He's a piece of shit. He hated him. Worst character. And so Dunkelman is in love with the main character. Tall, tall girl. girl. Her name's Jody, but we're just gonna call her Tall Girl. So uh, a Swedish boy gets transferred, he's an exchange student at her school, and he gets to live with Dunkelman, much to his dismay. And his name is Stieg, I swear I heard Steve, so we called him Steve for the rest of the movie. And also we kept having to pause because he kept getting so angry. And I'm definitely gonna edit those clips into here. When I wrote, when the friend danced onto the scene, I put no, why is her friend like this? And then her name is Frida. She has a hot sister with allergies who's, oh, I guess... Oh, played by Sabrina Carpenter, and she's insane in this movie. And, yeah, she overacts, but I think the character called for it, and I really liked her. I was scared that they... Well, they kind of did. Like, the older sister is, like, a pageant queen, and they really used that as, like, here's the normal pretty one, except she has allergies, oh, no, and then here's this tall, freakish thing that even her dad was, like, worst parents ever, by the way. Her dad wanted to get her, like, hormone... They wanted to stun her growth. <laughs> she's four foot already. But the scene where she's Googling height reduction surgery yeah, she Googles, is, is she, the stupidest thing. I, I, You can't have a character Google that and then make me think that they're intelligent in any sort of way. So she really likes this guy and then the most popular girl in school is really threatened by tall girl. And I don't, I mean, because on, she's a model. Like, she's tall, she's pretty, she has long legs, she has pretty blonde hair, like, she has perfect skin. <laughs> I mean, they're high schoolers, so I mean, high schoolers are the worst. It doesn't make, everybody's like, she acts like she's Sasquatch, and that she's, they literally do two things. They curl her hair and put on makeup, and boom, she's hot. That's then, what they do in this movie. Also, they put her, like, in sweats and stuff, and her little sister, 
big sister Called, who's smaller oh, than yeah. her and calls her a very tall, tall little boy. Yeah, very um, tall little boy. That's how she dresses. And she was hot either way. Like, she's the same level of hot this way and then this way. So like, just, and there's it, another girl. I know her name's, her, the actress's name is Paris. I don't know. What was her name? Liz. Are you, are you talking about the glasses one? Yeah, they put glasses on her and she's a really cute girl and they put glasses on her and I'm just like, okay. They tried to pretend she wasn't hot either. They I did that she's all that thing where you put, I, I don't get put it. glasses on her and she's ugly, you take the glasses Every off. Every character they just pretend like wasn't a model and it was really so, weird. Like the popular girl, they tried to make her like she was so pretty and she's the prettiest girl and literally her friend who with the glasses was really pretty, tall girl was really pretty. <laughs> so we meet Jack, which is the awful character. He's he's secretly in Are you love. talking about Dunkelman? That's his name. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I wrote down Jack. I guess that's his name. That's his first name. Everybody calls him. Calls him, him Dunker one. or Dunkelman. Uh, not big piece of shit loser. Um, <laughs> Stieg calls him Dunkers. Which Dunkers really made me laugh. Um, he's such a bad character. I he's the worst. So he comes in. He obviously likes tall girls. Really creepy about it. Also keeps flirting with her. He carries every his shit second. around in a milk. Crate. Yeah, the joke is his backpack's like a milk crate. He carries it around. So Stieg is the most popular guy in school now. Yeah, he's a foreign he's exchange student. He comes in. Also, everybody. He mod he's a model and he's not actually Swedish. Right? Yes, he's not a model, not Swedish. I could tell right away he starts speaking and I was like, that accent is not Swedish. He and is not. And then I googled it from Wisconsin. So yeah, he's definitely, he's not Swedish. He's no. just pretty looking. Like his accent, I remember. Remember, he kept calling Jody Yodi, but then he would lose the accent. The he rest loses of the time. it constantly. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for this actor in a little bit because they want him to do an accent. He obviously no, cannot. No, it's the do classic an thing where they try to make models actors. They they've done it before. Well, like, the one girl's a no, model. she's fine. But I'm saying like. Like, okay, Marilyn Monroe started out as a model and she became an actress, but... If your first acting role is having to pretend to be a Swedish person, that's not to me. They're setting you up for failure. They're setting you up, like... That like, girl, that girl who was in, like, Transformers 3 because Megan Fox wouldn't come back, they, they just put her in there because they're like, we need a hot girl. So, like, it, it happens, you know? Sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't. He could have just been out of town. Why was he Swedish? Why put an actor no. who can't act? Okay, but why this? don't you get a Swedish actor? No, but why make him Swedish if he can't do an accent? You could have just been like, oh, he's from New York. But he says like, oh, I'm considered like the dork at my school in Sweden because everybody's like super tall and super hot and stuff. And I'm supposed to sit here and believe that he's a loser. In Sweden, I guess. He, he, the foreign exchange student, tall guy, we're, st uh, we're gonna call him Tall Guy Steve Stieg, a Swedish dude. We're gonna call him all these. So these are all of his nicknames. I'm gonna just refer to him as Tall Guy. He comes in, they introduce him as a foreign exchange student. Then after school, um, he goes, uh, he's in the car with the dude's, uh, Jack's mom. And he's like, yo, what's up with Swedish dude? He's like, hey, he's gonna live with us. And he's like, what? That crossed my style, y'all. You should go back. They act like he lived there. And what was funny is they were like falling in love with this guy. And I'm like, this guy's literally going to leave in a couple weeks. He's a foreign exchange student. So there was a sister makeover before this. Because the, the girl, tall girl goes home because she saw a tall guy and was like, he's so beautiful. So he, he goes home. She goes home, sorry. And she tells the uh, sister, pageant sister, like, yo, like this guy. This is just like, what? I get to make you over? I've been waiting for this my whole life. So they go and get do a, a makeover to Megan Trainer music. It's not good. Surprise. Because Kimmy, Kimmy the popular girl who's dating Steve, calls Tall Girl and starts bullying her over the phone. Yeah. With Schnips, her friend, to pretend to be Steve and ask Tall Girl out to homecoming. And then he was like, do you know anybody who's been bullied over the phone? Okay, I get bullying at school because you're bored. I, I'm not saying to bully people, by the way. Don't bully people. Bully this movie, but don't bully people. <laughs> but the writer's name was Sam something. Bully him. Find his Twitter, find his LinkedIn, bully him for writing such a bad movie. I never... I get getting bullied at school because they're like, they have nothing better to do. So they're like, hey, tall girl, you suck. Ha ha, you, ha, you Eiffel Tower? How's the weather up there? But like... Getting a girl's number you don't know 
and then going out of your way to call her I don't know, I guess maybe that's happened, but it seems like psychopath behavior. And it's a definitive age where we have cell phones and stuff. People usually do more than that. They have like the YouTubes or Instagram Yeah, like these kids Twitter have better stuff to do than just to keep bullying tall girl. <clears throat> and also at that point, I would just be like, if I was tall girl, I would be like, why are you going out of your way to do this? Yeah, that's that. I feel like you almost go into legal territory at that point because it's like, you're calling me on my private phone. But then she also, Kimmy also says, you're never going to be the pretty girl. You're always going to be the tall girl. <laughs> and then she hangs up. And then tall girl feels sad. And I'm like, okay. Huh? Why do you even care about this person's opinion? I know. Uh, because she's such, obviously, a terrible person. And I mean, I get it. You hear the same thing day after day after day after day. And it's going to wear you down. Yeah. I get it. I get that. And bullying is never okay. But Unless just, it's this writer. No, but just the way the writing goes, it was just dumb. This this steps into, like, legit, like, I hate to use problematic, but this steps into some bad territory with the, the Jack is the worst character. First off, he, he constantly flirts with this girl when she's like, no, I don't like you. I don't get why they're friends or why they set him up as friends. In real life, she'd have a restraining order on this guy. That's true. He kept, like... His opening he line to her was insisting. He kept saying like, "When you are, when are you and I gonna make magic together?" Or yeah, something. it's really and I was like, creepy. that's so uncomfortable. And I thought, oh, this guy's gonna be the creepy guy that like he's just a creeper, and she's gonna beat him up at one point or so. No, they're best friends. They're actual friends, and I'm like, how are these two friends? So I think after the call, we get a scene. I just want to bring this up. It has nothing to do with the plot, <laughs> but uh. The, the Kimmy girl, the, the hot girl, call it the mean girl. The mean girl is like molding clay with Steve. I guess they're together now. And they're like holding hands, like just like really just going at this clay. It was basically like ripped straight out of Ghost. And it's like, well, where's the teachers? <laughs> no teacher would allow this. Would allow this. No teacher would allow this. No adult supervision. No, the, the two students couldn't just be making out practically on top of their clay. Everybody's watching them do this. I'm like, it's so uncomfortable. this would not happen. Okay, so she doesn't go to school with her new makeover and all this stuff, and she's hiding in the bathroom. Kimmy, the mean girl's friend with the glasses, is flirting with Dunkers I have in a note. class. I have a note about her. It's just put glasses on hot person, instantly ugly. Yeah. And she starts, like, making fun of his, like, paintings and stuff. And he was like, oh, he, they're going to set them up to be together. And I was like, no, Tall Girl and Dunkers are going to end up together. And then he said he was going to fight me. I was, <laughs> I, I said I was going to throw my computer through this window right here, the one creating light. And that's why there's light. I actually, this was not a window. I, it was a solid door that I busted through because, we need spoilers, light. that happens. <laughs> and it's the worst. Anyway. Stieg and Tall Girl end up at a piano together and she's really really good at playing the piano but she doesn't want to draw more attention to herself than than she already does because she's so tall he's trying to play the piano and he's really bad at it and she's like yeah I'm good at it because of these and he's like yeah because of your hands I would hope you'd play the piano with your hands but anyway so they also do this thing where he's like show me your hands and so they do this thing and there's like a moment and then he goes yeah you have really big hands <laughs> he didn't say that, but he might as well have. So, what next? Oh, I put weird. He has no accent when he sings. That's true. He drops the... Uh, he can sing. She... He can sing. They both can sing very well. They, these, both of these people are so talented. The girl, I just... This girl would be so well-liked in any school. I, they act like she's a genetic freak. There was literally a girl, like, at my school. It was, like, 6'5", and everybody loved her. She played... She was, played every sport, and everybody loved her. Well, I did like that, though. They didn't make her play any sports. They had her be good at the piano. Piano instead? Oh, because you couldn't like be on it. Like, she was a basketball star. She was, like, <laughs> fucking leaning back. Yeah. She was, like, fucking Stephen Curry. <laughs> so after a uh, piano scene, uh, the parents tried to make Tall Girl join a tall club. These parents are out of Were touch. Were they called the Tip Toppers? The Tip Toppers. Uh, looked like a fairy fun club. Uh, I'm thinking about joining since the requirements only to be six foot or taller, I guess. You know, because that's what this movie thinks is six foot tall people are genetic freaks. 
a man wrote this. That should automatically let you know how bad this okay. is. Well, when the Tip Top Club did come tip in, toppers. they sang a song about how hard it is to be tall. Like, um, never finding clothes that can fit you right. And, um, seat, sitting on an airplane. And like, you have to sit sideways or something because your legs are too long. But this is, a, she's six one. At this point, she Googles the height reduction surgery. <laughs> that was my favorite scene. That got my most genuine laugh because it was so stupid. And then there was comments on it saying that like, it was so painful, but worth it. And I'm like, that's insane. Uh, that's not even a thing. I refuse to believe height okay. reduction surgery is a thing. What do they do? They, do they cut you in half, take a little piece out, and then put you back together? I don't like, know. That sounds painful. <laughs> anyway, she answers an unknown phone call, and it turns out to be Steve. And he invites her over to watch a musical, um, Guys and Dolls. And it's also Dunker's house. And he, But you forgot she, she yelled at him first because she thought she was getting crank called. She thought she was getting crank called again. again. Plus, it wouldn't be an unknown number if you're like calling from your cell phone, by the way. Unless he so, put star 67 or 64 or whatever it 69? is. 69? Is it star 69? Yes. Oh, okay. So, okay. So she goes over there and she puts a little makeup on and she curls her hair. He wrote, she's hot. What a surprise. <laughs> Jody, wow, hi. So I wrote what he said. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, oh Jody. Said, wow. Oh, hi. Actually, he said, Yodi. Yodi. Oh, wow. Hi. The, that's the consistent accent in her name. Yodi. She's over at Dunker's house and she's watching a movie with, with Steve and he's in the kitchen trying to make a smoothie. He's making all this noise and he's talking through the musical and Steve looks over at Tall Girl and he goes, do you mind, like, do you mind? And she's like, mm, whatever, whatever you want. And well, so, she wanted him to be like, hey, can you get the fuck out of here, you fucking short piece of shit? But he was like, hey, you want to sit and watch the movie with us? Okay, because he claims, and I don't believe this, can I just have a friend over to watch a musical? Oh no, this guy's trying to smash. He's like, so, like just but I also mean, okay. There's a plot twist later which I Dunkers, guess makes this more sense. But, Dunkers sits but in between them. Yeah, Dunkers is actively stepping in front of the movie, obviously bothered by them watching this movie, and it's like, bro, she she's just trying to go on a date, you psycho but you claim to be her friend, but are blocking her from any other male companionship. Anyway, so he sits between them, and she's like, he's like leaning on he's her. He's leaning on her. He's it's like, really uncomfortable. Guy like, is a horrible character. And then, it, it, so... It, it really, his character is so unlikable, and they try to push the likableness, and I feel bad for this actor. No, I mean, like, it's... I didn't hate him as much as you did, but I didn't like him. No, I hate... I this character is reprehensible. I just didn't this like is him. an awful person. So, he's... Steak is taking Tall Girl home, and she's like, well, where's your girlfriend? And he goes, oh... My girlfriend's at a party. I don't like her. I don't know why I'm dating her. <laughs> and it's true because it's so clear that he likes Tom. Uh, it's it's a dating thing. That, this, this guy turns out to be an asshole. So, I mean, it's not surprising. And then you wrote, this is the hardest movie I've ever sat through. <laughs> it was so hard. There is so much of this movie that made me mad. It's mostly the, the, the Dunkers character. If you take his character out and throw him off a cliff, I might like this movie better. I, I can't. I, Are you okay? I hate this character so fucking much. This is the fucking worst. If you take that character out, this movie might be better. Why am I saying it might? This movie would be so much better if you no, took Dunkers I out. Mean, He's the worst. Steve tells Tall Girl that she's hot, and then she kisses him. But then she's like, she pulls away and she goes, oh my god, I'm sorry. And he goes, like, I'm not. I'm not. Her. Chandler wrote at this point, Tall guy is technically cheating on his girlfriend. Don't know how to feel. <laughs> so, and they kissed each other. I mean, it takes no, two to he, tango. No, he was tangoing. He went back in for desserts. Like, oh the, the shit was going down. So she goes home and her sister's creepily waiting on the stairs in her gown. In her gown in the middle of the night. Uh, this sister character. She's, she's psychotic and I love it. But she's psychotic in a fun way. Not in the I want to kill everybody way. Steve and, and, and Dunkers are having oh, a slumber party in their little bunk beds. How do you have a bunk bed? I don't know. Do you think they just bought a bunk bed? I that, mean, they look kind of rich, so I mean, they probably just bought a bunk bed. Oh, that is funny. Who is he bunking with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they a bunk bed. And he's like, hey, Dunkers, are you awake? Can I talk to you about something? <laughs> <laughs> that accent was 
was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I thought about it for a minute. That was good. You, you could have been it. You should have. You should have thought about. I could have been Steve. You could have cast it oh. out. You could have been the tall guy. I'm not tall enough. Just I put some stilts. Just put some platforms. Good, on. good ca camera angles. Yeah, just make me look like a tall guy. Anyway, so he's like, "Any talk to you about some scene? I kiss Yodi, and uh, I feel bad about it. Am I a terrible person?" And uh, John Cruz is like, oh my god, describe the kiss to me. And so he does. And he's like, oh, okay, that's enough. I don't want to hear anymore. And then John Cruz proceeds to give him the worst advice Yeah, John Cruz ever. is not a good friend. He pretty much, he, he, he knows that tall girl likes him and likes the tall dude. Specifically, he's told him multiple times, I like tall dude. And so what he does as, his, as her friend is tells the tall dude to just keep dating his girlfriend. Because he wants to date tall girl. He wrote really like the dunker fucker, which I really just dunker fucker. It's a great phrase. And then Stieg invites him to sit at the popular table at school. And he starts doing a Gordon Ramsay impression and a Kevin Hart impression. So pretty much hot girl with glasses who we pretend is ugly. This is a separate she's with the popular group though, so I'm like, No, because no, she's she... best friends with Yeah, she's mean best girl. friends with Mean Girl. She is in love with the Dunkers guy for no reason. He has no charm. Nothing about him is likable. You well, know what? This awful character is going to end up with hot Asian women, and I'm going to hate it. <laughs> Did I put women instead of women? Yeah, women. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit mad. Tall girl goes to like the homecoming performance of the band, like the marching band, and mean girl comes up to tall girl after tall girl gets in a fight with her best friend. And Mean Girl goes to Tall Girl and she says, my friend Schnips wants to go out with you on a date. We're gonna go to an escape room on Friday. Would you like to go with us? And Tall Girl's like, like, this is a trap. And I'm like, this is a trap. I'm like, this is, this is stupid. Everyone is unlikable at this point to that's Chandler. What I, that's what I wrote. Is I still like the best friend. I, tall Girl uh, during this scene ruined a lot of points because she's just mean to her best friend for no reason. I'm like, this is Yeah, they I had just, tickets to go to a concert. Do I have to not like she every character in this? So they, they go to the escape room and then at some point in the escape room, they're in a room all by themselves and they're all coupled off. So Kimmy's with Stieg and Tall this Girl's with Schnips scene. and Dunker's is with that cute girl Paris. I'm just gonna call her by actress name, Paris. It's Paris, sorry. And her name's Paris. She's really cute. She's on Alexa and Katie. I worship her. She's great. They all start making out. Chandler wrote, I love making out in front of all my friends while my other friends, friends make, make out. out. And it's true. They all start making out. Yeah. And like, <laughs> there's th three couches and they're all making out in a triangle. And it's so, so like, Stig is and watching they're all just tall like, girl. they're all like, and then Dunkers is watching Tall Girl, and Tall Girl's watching Dunkers, and it's just awkward and weird. It's like nobody does this. I, I guess people do it. I mean, but it's that's that's something else, okay? So she finds a letter. Where, where did she find that letter? It was in her locker. Oh, it was in her locker. Yeah, she pulls out a letter. You don't see what's in it, but I wrote what I think is in it, which is I want to kiss. I hate my girlfriend. Uh, signed, Tall Guy. So they meet up, and they meet up at the piano where they first sang that Guys and Dolls song. So he wants to take her out on a date, and um, but she's like, oh, my, my sister is going to be in a pageant, it's really important, and she asks him to come, but she gets stood up. And the best part of this whole pageant is not the sister noticing on stage that her little sister is getting stood up, but there's this girl standing in the back during like her question. It's, it's, she says something, she relates it to like the Middle East, like pe having peace in the Middle East and there's this girl standing in the background like like I don't know where I am she's like this like her smile just goes it was like are you okay like blink twice like are you are you, kidnapped? <laughs> are, you being held are you held hostage oh she goes to that party she goes to a party that Dunker said he was gonna have at his house because his mom was on a retreat and the popular girl Kimmy was like oh yeah party at Dunker's whatever Paris, the hot girl with the glasses, she says, she asks Dunkers to homecoming and he says no. And she's like, oh, you're in love with somebody else, aren't you? And she's like, yeah, I see the way you look at Jody, tall girl. And then um, tall girl goes to the party. She confronts Stieg and she's like, did you break up with Kimmy? And he's like, I just haven't, it hasn't been the right time. And then she's like, you like being popular more than you like me. And so he leaves. No, she leaves. Oh, she leaves. 
And then the next, she gets home. They have a sensitive scene with her and the dad, which was undeserved because the dad's not very likable. They, he plays uh, two chains on different on the piano, and then she comes down and they start doing it together, and it's so beautiful. It's I don't uh, know what they play, but it's not that. <laughs> I wish it was that. If it was that, this movie would have went to a ten. That would have been amazing. But then after that, she's asleep in bed, and uh, oh god, this is when this movie starts really turning no, my gears no we didn't even think it could get worse well, i and then you started saying shit and cursed me and cursed this movie you were like oh they're gonna fall in love and i was like you better fucking not I did i'm so sorry uh cut this uh <laughs> cut this whole don't, 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 thing. don't 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 include this part oh. so she's in bed dunkers walks in with his fucking face being punched which he deserves. He had a black eye. He had a black eye. And he, Tall Girl's asleep. Yeah, Tall Girl's dead ass asleep. The parents just let this guy in because they don't know better. No, the older sister let him in. The older sister really parents, doesn't know better. Because she's insane. <laughs> so he's, he came in with a gift. He sets it on her counter, looks at a picture of them, and I'm, I'm like, he does this all the time. He's probably in there sniffing everything. And like, then I said, it's very Edward. You don't walk into a girl's room and watch her sleep? <laughs> yes. It's, it's bad. It's uh, creepy. But yeah, he leaves this, and then he sits on the bed, and then starts rubbing her hair, and then she wakes up and punches him in the throat, because that's the first thing you would think. That's the first thing you should do. And she instantly forgives him for being a creeper for the 700th time in this movie. Uh, and she's like, what happened to your eyes? Like, oh, I fell down the stairs, which is like, no, you don't, no, you, you wouldn't get a perfectly square punched in the face black eye from, unless you fell on the stair right on your eye, I guess. She just believes it because she's an idiot. He's like, oh, I got you this gift. Here you go. And it's size 13 men's uh, high heels from a drag shop store. They're kind of ugly. It's supposed to be heartwarming and sweet. He says, oh, Jody." You're such a tall and beautiful woman. You no, know, he explains a yeah, hypothetic I, situation okay, no, where, I'm like, going. she's, like, he's, like, she's in at college in a few years, and she's going to go out with this guy. And basically, like, long story short, what he could have said, one day you're going to meet a guy who doesn't care that you're really tall and likes that you wear heels. Done. Done. But he went on, like, a 20-minute tangent. And then they're, like, like and you don't fall in love at the end. And then there's the part where it's like, oh yeah, you two don't fall in love. And yeah, it's awful. It's hard to sit through. And I'm just like, please do not set these two up. They're already having the goo eyes. I'm like, do not. Don't go there, movie. Just do not. That cute girl with the glasses um, oh, yeah. sends her yes. a message, a video message. And she's like, I thought you should see this. Um, and it's a video of Kimmy the Mean Girl goes up to Steve and says, Oh, I saw you and Jody talking. What were you guys talking about? He was like, Oh, yeah, she just confessed her love to me. And I was This like, is the asshole reveal of the movie. Yeah, we're like, we're just like, Oh, you're an asshole. He's, yeah, he's an asshole now. And then Schnitz is like, Oh, good job. That's savage, man. And then, savage. And then Dunkers comes in and he's like, You were confessing your love of her to me. And then he tried to hit him with the milk crate. Tried which, to hit him with the milk crate, which is assault in a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. So, don't catch a charge. Actually, no. Do catch a charge. And please. I guess Kimmy wasn't there for this whole thing. I guess she left at some point because no, she, she's literally no, there because he, she was surprised later on. I don't know. Maybe she's just stupid and doesn't comprehend <laughs> things. <laughs> Maybe, but anyway, he gets into a fight with Schnips, and that's how he gets the black eye. So everybody's getting ready for the homecoming dance, except for Dunker is because he's grounded from the party. His mom came home a day early from her retreat, whatever. He's not grounded from sneaking out of the house and rubbing a girl's hair while she's sleeping, though. Anyways, everybody's at the dance and plot twist. I know, Kimmy the Mean Girl and Steve win homecoming king and queen. That's all it's horrible. And the person who gives them the crown is tall girl's older sister. She's not happy about it, but she does Yeah, it. she asked the principal, are we sure? Are we sure? And I'm like, okay, that's that's cute, that's fine. And then, oh god, this scene. And then tall girl comes in wearing... A tuxedo, A tuxedo, much. a blue tuxedo. But it's cute, she looks cute, and wearing the ugly high heels from earlier. They're not my taste, they're not his taste. They're, they're ugly. So, 
I'm, not I'm glad we both agreed during this video that those <laughs> heels are ugly. Not cute. I would have given her much cuter heels. Uh, like just normal but high also, heels. Dunker isn't a nice person, so obviously he has no taste in shoes. She goes up to the stage and she takes the mic because this is what you do, and it's a high school movie. And if you didn't have some long monologue speech about how you finally accepted yourself, well, the teachers and, don't tell you to shut up and stop fucking interrupting yeah, the music. Yeah, you know, and she says like in the mic that she she kissed another boy and all this stuff. And Steve, Kimmy, that's when Kimmy finds out that Steve cheated on her and whatever. And she's like, I accept myself for who I am, so you can keep insulting me, but I don't give a fuck. But she should have started off with because she's beautiful like and she makes up with her best friend finally Final. because like that girl is the only reason why this girl has made it so far really because the best friend was so nice to her so supportive so strong all of the time in her fucking she has such a first world problem i'm sorry you're six one Get no, the fuck over it. That's exactly what everybody's talking about. She's tall, she's white, she's beautiful. It's get the fuck over it. Anyway, Ugh. so, like, she she leaves the dance and Steve breaks up with Kimmy. And Kimmy's like, oh my god, why? Um, and so Steve tries to catch up with Tall Girl. And he's like, I wish we could just start over. And she's like, can we start over? And she goes, yeah, I'd love to start over with someone else. Buddy. And then she dabbed on a hater right there. And yeah. he's like, oh... And then the worst scene in the movie happens. And so she goes back to her house, and she's wearing her Nikes again. And she's carrying her heels, because I said as she was walking away, I was like, she's not going to like wearing heels, because heels kind of suck. And um, when she gets home, Dunker is just there. Oh, With his see that one fucking coming? milk crate. With his milk crate. And then I paused the movie, and I turned to Chandler, and I was like, I know why he always carries milk crate. He's going to stand on it. To go make out with her. And he was like, no. When I saw this scene coming, I was like, no, don't do this movie. And he was just like, uh, I have like this mental checklist of like a perfect boyfriend. And she's saying that Dunker is really checks all of them. And then he puts the milk crate down, stands on it. And he was like, I'm, I was always waiting for a moment like this, just in case. And he's been carrying that milk crate around since they've been, since they were like, like, like middle 10. school. So like, he's a psycho. Like he's that's... like, he's a dedicated psychopath. I mean, I don't. That's anyway. just. And then they weird. kiss, and then it ends, and she's like, "You can either like something or stand tall." And I was like, "Okay." Sure. Just the message of this movie. Just and sucks. then it ends. This writer should have been bullied. <laughs> that should have literally should have been bullied out of this script. I know the so, problematic thing is like, oh, I'm complaining because I'm tall, but I'm also rich and white. Because they had a piano in their oh, house. I, I'm not even house. bringing up the fact that she's a beautiful white woman and so, tall. But the like, most problematic thing that. It's People the guy. Should also, yeah, they should it's be It's the about fucking dogs. guy. He is such a creepy weirdo, and they fall in love at the end. It's like, no, this is not normal behavior. This man has several psychopath behaviors throughout this whole movie, and it made me really hate. I was going into this. I wasn't going to try to be so hard on this. I was just going to be like, oh, it's a stupid movie. They act like being a tall is a problem. But no, it's even stupider. Just keep trying at a girl until she says yes. That is the message of this movie. Don't stop trying until she says yes. That's why I was getting mad because I was like, yo, this is, this character is a big piece of shit. It's, it's, because I think you were seeing me leave the room. I walked into the corner. I, I just kept, I, I was so mad because he just was such a bad character. It was like, he's a stalker. He's does so many things that a friend wouldn't do. He's not a, a, a good friend at all. He's the opposite of that. Uh, borderline right. is like harassing Being her Being a daily. friend is like, it's, it's a relationship just like any other. Are you going to put yourself in the corner again? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just thinking you know, about like, it. You, know, you have to put yourself, like you put yourself second sometimes. And like you want your friend to be happy, you know, and it. Yeah, he never, he doesn't sacrifice anything. They act like he does, but he never, because he's like, oh, these heels will be for some other guy. But he's like, he's still trying to get in them pants the whole time. He's not stopped. He doesn't move on with his life. It would have been great if he just moved on. If he, be, I, this movie would have been so much better if he just figured out 
you know, what I'm doing is wrong. I need to just move on with my life. Well, no, even if he had just told Steve, you know what, I like her, or just been like, you know what, maybe you should not be with Mean Girl anymore and not talk to Jody. Yeah, that would have been time. the scene to redeem him. Yeah. That would have been the scene. And that's funny because they don't do that. And that's what makes his character even worse is he tells him, because he's still trying to get that tall girl, if he would have grew up and been like, yo, go after tall girl. She's great. Wonderful human. And then was just a friend and did not go after her. And if they set up maybe a third love interest. Okay, the best friend. The best friend in tall girl. <laughs> make, make, boom. Maybe we like, made it better. This is why I didn't like you because I was in love with her the whole time. This is this would have been better. It literally would because have been Because I'm better. in love with her. She's so cute. Her hair is wonderful. She has a wonderful sense of style. She's really sweet. She's really tough. Everything I look for. I didn't love this character. I didn't love any character in this movie, but uh, like, okay, she I was liked, the least worst. So I'll give you that. She I did make her, me cringe liked, a little. But. I liked Yodi. Yodi. I want to see her do something else. Oh, you're talking about... I want to see every actor in this do something else for I don't hate them for the rest of my life. Um, no, she's actually a decent actor. Tall Girl. I'm yeah. sad that she's in Tall Girl. And now I'll forever see her and think of Tall Girl. Uh, I feel bad for her for that. But also, let's... <clears throat> Let's talk about who wanted to watch this movie. Oh yeah, I want. I saw the trailer. I was one of those people who saw the trailer. I was like, I need to see this movie. It turned out to be way worse than that trailer. That trailer makes this movie look good. It's fine when there's like a sense of comfort and predict predictability to a story, but there has to be fun, different things about it. Different little twists and like the fact that I guessed a lot of them. You guessed every single twist in this movie, including the worst twist, which is the d d d dongle and tall girl falling in love. I mean, I, I read a lot of YA books. <laughs> I don't know, man, are all YA books like this? Because you don't even stop reading them. I mean, I read a lot of trash. Man, this is, this is, this movie is garbage. So, I, I couldn't, I, zero. On a scale of one to ten? Zero. How many trash cans would you, like, how much trash is it? It's a movie? ten. The ten trash? It's so trash. I, I, it just made me angry. If I would have sold it, could you imagine if we so paid... So ten trash cans on fire. Could you imagine if we paid money to see this in a theater? Do you know how angry? I would have, I would have stormed, like, halfway through. I would have bought a hot dog. Well, we are going to see cats. Cats? I bet cats is a fucking <laughs> Grammy compared to this. A Grammy? You mean an Oscar? I, I, I don't care. I bet a Grammy, an Oscar, a fucking Tony. I guarantee cats is so much better than this. Uh, okay. Fucking, I saw the, tra the trailer of the cats is better than this. I've never been happier watching a trailer than the trailer of cats. What terrible movie do you want to watch next? Oh, what do we have to re Are we going to do reviews as like a normal thing? After everybody leaves comments, like, this guy can't stay still or look at a camera. Do you want to just stick to bad movies, or should we, we watch do good movies? Whatever we want. We should be the people that watch horrible things. Like, we have to watch something we both haven't seen. Okay. We can maybe search oh. Netflix. I fuck, I'm down to do it right Next now, right time. after this. Next time. We'll search through Netflix and... So, anyway, what, how do you want to sign off? Uh, if, uh, tall Girl, uh, my official review rating is a zero out of a hundred. Do not watch Tall Girl. Avoid Tall Girl like the plague. Um, I wouldn't recommend, definitely wouldn't recommend unless you just want to get mad. Yeah, you know, then let's just sign off like, we do not recommend Tall Girl. No. No, no Tall Girl. All right. Do you care about our recommendations? I don't care if you do, but I hope you enjoyed. So, Bye. thanks for watching. Make Thank good you. choices. Don't watch Tall Girl.